Right, so this is um, Sans paper 1, 2020, internal. So specifically, we are going to look at um, question B3 from section B. So this question is coming from moment. Okay. So the question is saying figure B3.1 below is a diagram showing the load being moved using a wheelbarrow. So figure B3.1 below is a diagram showing a load being moved using a wheelbarrow. So we have um, force F uh, from the handles. Force F was applied to the handles. Okay. Now on this part here, when we talk of a moment, moment, it is the turning effect of a force on a certain pivot. Pivot is more like uh, a joint. Pivot is more like what? A joint where the force acts. So in this wheelbarrow, the pivot is here, on this part here, okay, to the wheels. So now, when you talk of a moment, a moment, it is the product of force and distance. The product of what? Force and distance. Which means for you to calculate the moment of something, we need to have distance and also the force. Now, how we take distance here is like this. You take the distance from the pivot to where the force is acting. So, as for force F, as you can see on this diagram here, we are having a distance from the pivot to where W is acting, which is what? T? 0 0.5 meters. And from W to where force F is acting, which is what? T? 1.5 meters. So, I was saying, when taking the distance, you take the distance from the pivot to where the force is acting. So as for force F here, we can say we are going to take the distance from the pivot to where force F is acting, which is what T? 2 meters. When you add 0 0.5 meters plus 1.5, you are going to get what T? 2. Okay, apart from that one, here we are going to apply the principle of moment. So the principle of moment said that for a body to be in equilibrium, for a body to be where? In equilibrium. So in talk of equilibrium, just mean for, for two bodies to balance, which means the clockwise moment should be balanced to the anticlockwise what? Moment. So for a body to be, to be in equilibrium, the sum of a clockwise moment about the pivot is equal to what? The sum of anticlockwise moment T. So the question is saying uh, the total mass of the wheelbarrow and the load is what? 8 kgs. So this one is our mass, 8 kgs. And take G, which is the gravitational field or the gravity to be 10 newtons per kgs. So the question is saying uh, calculate the low minimum number one, weight of the wheelbarrow and the load. So the weight of the wheelbarrow and the weight and the what? And the load. So now we know that weight is equal to what? Mass multiplied by gravity. Mass multiplied by gravity. So now on this part here, they have given us the mass which is what? 80 kgs. And the gravity or the gravitational field to be 10 newtons per kgs. So I'm going to say weight is equal to mass which is 80 kgs multiplied by... 10 newtons per kg, which is the gravity. Then our final answer for weight will be 800 newtons. Remember, when you're doing the calculations, you're supposed to include the, what, the units and also the final answer, you need to give it the unit, the units. So if you, if you forget to put the units, which means your answer will be wrong. So our weight here is what? 800 newtons. Then as for low money numeral number two, we need to calculate the what? The force F required to lift the what? The wheelbarrow. So now, on this part here, you need to observe something like they were saying. You take the distance from the pivot to where force F is acting. So the distance here is what? Two meters. Now, for us to calculate force F there, we need to use, you need to use now the principle of what? Moment. So the principle of moment said that for a body to be in equilibrium, the sum of uh, clockwise moment should equal to what? The sum of uh, anticlockwise moment about the pivot. 
So now, moment is equal to what? Force multiplied by distance, which means for you to calculate moment, you need to have two things. Force and what? T, distance. Now, since I'm saying clockwise moment is equal to anticlockwise moment, which means I'm going to say uh, force 1 multiplied by distance 1 is equal to what? T, force 2 multiplied by distance what? T, 2. Force 1 and distance 1, they are representing the what? The clockwise moment and force 2 and distance 2, they are representing what? The anticlockwise moment. Since we are saying for a body to be in equilibrium, the sum of clockwise moment should be balanced to the sum of uh, anticlockwise moment about the pivot. Okay, so the pivot is just a joint. So in this case here, I'm going to say the force, the force W, force W, it is what? 800 newtons. 800 newtons multiplied by the distance to where force W is uh, acting. You take it, the distance from the pivot to where force W is acting, which is what? 0 0.5 meters is equal to force F we don't have, multiplied by distance. So in this case here, the distance we are going to take what? 2 meters. Don't take 1.5. Take 2 meters. Here I was saying, you take the distance from the pivot to where the force is acting. So we are going to take what? 2 meters. So if I do the computation here, I'm going to find that force F is going to be what? 200 newtons. 200 what? Newtons. Now, I want you to understand on this part here. So the first answer was what? On Loma in the number one, it was what? 800. 800 newtons. Then as for Loma in the number two, for the force FE, is what? 200 newtons. Now, what does this tell you? This tells you that as you move away from, uh, as you move away from the pivot, or the longer the distance from the pivot, the lesser the force you are going to apply. So in this case here, force F is having the distance of what? 2 meters. And we are applying what? 200 newtons. Now let's say for example, we take the distance of 0 0.5 meters. We are going to apply the force of what? 800 newtons. Then the last one is a B. B is saying, state whether force F, state whether force F would increase or reduce they're talking about the same force that we have we have calculated them. So state whether force F would increase or reduce when the handles of the wheelbarrow are made longer. We are going to find that force F is going to be what? Reduced T. Force F is going to be what? Reduced. Remember, here yeah, I was saying, as you move, or the longer the distance from the pivot, the lesser the force you are going to apply. And the closer the distance from the pivot, the larger the force you are going to do at T to apply. So in this case here, the force is going to be reduced. That's so. Because as you move from the pivot going away, or the longer the distance from the pivot, the less the force you are going to apply. So that was the last one. Thanks for